Hello. Hello guys. Welcome to another video with me, Alexandra, beginner sewist. A while ago I was on Facebook and I saw this comment, what can a beginner make out of a cotton bed sheet? And the answer was anything you put your mind to. That comment inspired this video. I was like, let's see if I can make a beautiful Instagrammable dress out of a bed sheet. Um, so I found a green bed sheet. I found green thread. I ordered them. I have the parcel here, the thread, and I thought we could do a little unboxing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful this green is. I love it. Let's see the thread. Actually, for matching it online, this isn't too bad. While I was waiting for the bed sheet, I was like, what dress shall I make? I need something that's easy, because obviously I'm a beginner. And I just thought, what if I can make like a really nice square neck kind of dress with a lot of volume. And so I went and sketched this. I think this will be fun to make. I basically have this really gorgeous dress that I wore at my sister-in-law's wedding. It has the square neck. I'm gonna try and use this as a pattern. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just tracing the pattern of the dress to try and copy that um, body design. This is what I'm doing. I am pinning the seam so the dress doesn't move and then I'm lifting it up, trace along. I'm gonna cut the pattern and then make a toil, test it out, get it really nice and fitted. We like to look snatched. My battery decided to die. Um, so I made a cup of tea. Ooh. And I was also able to pin the pattern. My main concern is is it a little too small? Because the fabric from which I took the pattern is a little stretchy and the bed sheet is for stretching but not stretchy. <laughs> okay, let's take this to the sewing machine and see what the damage is. Now that the oil has been tested, I'm gonna make a few adjustments and then actually cut my bed sheet and start on the dress. I'm actually really excited. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that is soft. Let's see how see-through this is. Can I? That's not see-through at all. Is that see-through? Can you see me? I don't even know how wide it is. There's a lot of fabric in here. Mary, did you know? <laughs> I'm gonna cut my pattern. That's what I'm gonna do first. If you're wondering, Alex, why didn't you just use a bed sheet that you already own? I don't have any old bed sheets. When we moved back from Australia, we had to start from scratch and buy everything new. If we weren't in like coronavirus times, I would have probably tried to find something in the charity shops, but since that was an option, I had to go with Amazon, which I know isn't ideal. Okay, okay, let's get to the sewing machine and sew this up. All done. Now look at this green, I cannot get over this green. Um, now it's time for me to press. Here is the difference between a seam that has been pressed and then a seam that hasn't been pressed. Press your seams. I really don't know if this is how you do lining, but I'm gonna show you what I've done. I have pinned my top onto the bed sheet and then I'm just gonna cut, 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 and then sew them together. Ladies and gentlemen, I have managed to sew all the way across the lining and 
think I'm gonna call it a night, but I shall see you bright and early tomorrow to finish this dress. Welcome to another day, it's a Sunday and we're back at it again. The first thing I need to do is make the first tier of the skirt. There you go! What I'm gonna have to do now is gather it. There you go! That looks kind of cute. Done. I've gathered the second tier and then I have attached it to the dress and now I'm sewing them together. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's so cute! I love it! I just saw it and I'm like, mm, mine is blown, I love it! Wow, I made this! Yeah! Let me sew the third tier. Oh, I love this green so much! Here she is. Quick sneak peek. I think my zipper is ridiculously long. I feel like that's too long of a zipper. I don't want to sit down and just feel a zipper on my butt. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Um, change of plans. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm just gonna um, sew the zipper. So I've put the right foot on and I'm about to go. Wish me luck, pray for me. Woo! How's this supposed to be invisible zipper? See how this line is here? I'm going to try and stretch the zipper and get even closer look what a difference that made like you can not see the zipper yes i am happy i am so happy but i think i'm gonna definitely call it a day here because i am tired hello hello it's been a week i'm back at it again with my lovely dress I decided that for the sleeves I'm actually going to do ties, um, I just think that's going to look nicer. These are my ties, um, so I'm going to have two ties on each shoulder. Okay, so here's like my, my brush. What I do is I push it down where I've sewn it and then try to shimmy the fabric. So you see how the fabric is moving across? There you go! Okay, here they are. And this is the dress. I'm just gonna attach them. Done! Attached! I shall see you with the dress!